All right, we are in Age of Empires 2. About to do a quick match. And, uh, you know, I don't play this game very much, but I was thinking about how I kind of have missed it. And uh, so we're going to give it a try. Looks like we're waiting for one more person to arrive. Let's say hello, see if everyone, if anybody says anything. So it's hit and miss to see if people want to be engaging on the chat. All right, looks like we're starting. Now, I am a noob, so hopefully I don't let everyone down. This appears to be a 3v3 map. All right. And what am I? I am uh, playing the British Empire. And... Uh, First of all, I guess we better try to make sure we we keep our our citizen population reproducing and uh, go get some wood. Send the scout away. Go explore, my friend. For the Empire. And remember, how do I... Okay, there we go. Right mouse button will... Allow me to move around. And I need to... I need to build more houses. That's what I need to do. Build a house. Okay. See what... what What's our buddy doing? Where's my ally? Do I have any allies? Yes, I do. Okay, they're building houses. They're building houses. I'm being a moron over here. Not, not sure what to do with myself. Alright. Every minute counts now. I'm already lagging behind. My goodness. Alright. Hotkeys in Age of Empires 2 are amazing. Look at that. We do not have time for you to stand around, brother. Get to work. Build a house. There we go. You know, one reason why I don't want to play this game is because my concern with it is that to become good, you have to play it regularly. And uh, I also have thought to myself, though, I miss that nostalgic experience of challenging myself to a multiplayer match with other people. I haven't really done it seriously for a long time, and I thought, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into it regardless. Even if I suck, I'm going to just jump into it. Doesn't look like, at least initially, out, out the gate, I'm not the worst player on the map so far. Of course, we're too early to, to call it, by all means. But, uh... But there are some other players with lower scores, at least initially. So, take it. All right. Where's the Where's my trees at? There's no trees around here. Okay, so we need to go build a logging camp over where the trees are. Yay, chopper. And I need to get my food economy going. Right. Log and camp. There we go. We still have a few domesticated animals here that we can eat. You guys need to stop just hanging around wasting time, my friends. What in the world are you doing? We're supposed to be at war and you're just you're just hanging out. My goodness, citizens can be so lazy, can't they? Right. I can't pay too much attention to what other people are doing because because that might get us killed. I don't have enough wood to be building fences and stuff like that yet. I got a max pop of 30, so I don't really need any more houses quite yet. 
what I need is a farm. I need a farm, that's what I need. And uh, just in time, too. Here we go. All right. Got a farm being built. 60 wood to, to build a field. Why can't I build a field, though? Do I have to age up first? Is that what it is? Or do I have to finish building a farm first? I think that's that's probably what it is. Yep, that's what it is. Alright. Mandatum. Bulden. Yay. Start gathering a little bit of stone. How am I doing on score? Thirteen forty-three. Yeah, I'm the worst one. Well, no, we have we have somebody else on player um, team two. Is, is this person on my team or not? I don't know. I need five hundred food so I can age up. Ready. I'm starting to have a bit of extra wood, so let's build another farm. We need to start Ready. building some soldiers. Can I build a barracks yet? I need one hundred seventy-five wood to build a barracks, which I should have in just a moment. Right, not a moment too soon. There we go. You guys build, build that barracks. Should be able to build another, another field here. Yeah. Well, we've got to age up to age two as soon as we possibly can. So I don't want to, I don't want to spend too much time training, training people. If it's going to cost me time on aging up, see sixty food to train a militia. I don't know that I want to do that. I think I'd rather just take the risk and uh, Yay. and work on. Get into age two as quickly as possible. Golden. Rare salmon has reached age two already. A good player, no doubt. Look at that one we got here. Somebody's built a wall right here to wall me in. Right. Or, or is that, or is that a, what is that? Do I have an enemy wall right next to me already? That's, that's a bit concerning. All right. well, not to worry. We're just going to focus on what we can control, which is increasing our, increasing our uh, feed production. Feed production is the key. That's what we have to worry about. As a matter of fact, this gold gatherer is going to also become a farmer. Yay. Can we build a... We can't build any monuments out of stone yet anyway, because we haven't aged up. Okay. Datum Bulden Just a 
spout there. Bulden. Ready. D. Yay. Correct. Fish. Fish. Now I'll start training a few military units, just because even if they're bad military units, we need to have something. So what else can we do here? We got enough houses. If I can just not be the last one to age up, that would be great. It looks like I am. I'm the last one to age up. That's a, that's a bummer. I didn't like it. Greet him. Hold him. We're almost there, though. Right. Now we need 800 food. We need 800 food to get to age 3. Thankfully we do have enough gold, Ready. so let's uh, spare no, hold him, hold him. waste no time getting to the next age. That's our number one priority. We have one soldier, one soldier to defend us. Yay. Okay. Chopper. Mandatum. Fish. Yay, chopper. Grayton. Yay, chopper. All right. Shouldn't take us too long here to, to get there. 592. We need 800. We're almost there. Just going to make sure we keep enough wood coming in to keep the farms reseeded. All right. There we go. Oh, we need two feudal age buildings. What can we build? Chopper, chopper, chopper. Forgot about that. All right. All right, we're gonna send everyone to chop, chop wood. You can can go back and farm after a bit when you're done with this. Because we need to build, we'll build a archery range and a stable. Grayton. Bulden. Ready. And maybe a watchtower. I don't know if a watchtower counts as a feudal age building, but. I'm sure we'll need it soon anyway. Stable. Nope, the, the watchtower does not count as a feudal age building, so we need that stable finished. There we go. All right, now we can age up. Firm, firm. Mandatum, firm. 
Now, if I click one farm, will these villagers continue to spread out to get all the different farms? Yes, they will. That's good. Yay. Farm. Ready. Farm. So I just need one more. There we go. Yeah. Now, with wood and gold, we can train archers. So I think we're going to focus on archers so that we can continue to build up our food reserves without being a drain on the military. We're going to build another house because we are going to soon need as much population support as we can get. And some spearmen. Yeah. What is a skirmisher good for? I think it's an anti-archer unit, I believe. I know, but we'll make one. Alright, there's our little army starting to come together. Now, we need a, a castle to get to the next age. We need a thousand food, and we need gold. All right. Ready. So, so, you know, let's, let's, let's build our, okay, we'll build our next farm over here. Bolden. Bolden. Because there's berries. Which I, I should have got the berries right away, and I didn't even think about the berries. So that was a vast oversight on my part. We can train knights now. Probably should be careful about that, because we need to upgrade ourselves. Gotta get to the castle age. If we don't get there, then we're, we're done for. You seem to have a wood shortage. Ready. So that's a problem. Mandatum. Chopper. Our wood shortage is now exacerbated by the fact that we don't have enough housing either. Mandatum. So we're going to have to send more of our farming Yay. citizens over to, to work on the Bolden. Bolden. wood cutting. Ready. Bolden. 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 A wall off that little area there. Houses. Houses will work as a wall. I know that's a strategy. Mandatum? Yes. All right. I have to keep my poorly trained men all lumped together, ready to defend our homeland with their, well, with what, what little skill they have. 
Maybe we can build a castle soon. All right, we need to we need to get some stone so that we can so we can build a castle. Get some stone, my friends. Do we need uh, do we need more gold? We need eight hundred gold. I think we're almost there. There we go. All right, our gold miners can now work on stone cutting. Once we have 650 stone, then we can build a castle, and that'll help us. Because the castle will potentially... ...contribute to our defense. Wait, what did I spend... what did I spend gold on? Ready. Build another mining camp over here. Citizens standing around. All right, you can get to get to work. No time for that. Six hundred nineteen stone. We're almost there. All right, castle. There you are. And now everybody can come and help work on building the castle. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and uh, and at least build a little bit of defense here. And we'll send our people back to the fields. Oh my goodness, I'm being attacked by wild animals. Oh no. That's an alligator. Come on now. There we go. Good. We can't we can't have our first citizen death be from a wild animal. That'd be embarrassing. Speaking of that, let's let's build a church. Because we need to heal up our people. Alright, and we'll start upgrading our upgrading our units because we need to we need to have a proper team here. And send our people back to back to the stone camps. Side gate. There we go. Look, there's a relic there. As soon as possible. We need to get a monk to go out there and get that. Ready, correctus. Yay, Quillen. Bulden. Yay. Grayton. Yes. D. Ready. Yay, yay, Quillen. Bulden. Greeting. Correct. It was D. We have we have enough food now, so let's get. More people on gold mining. We'll send people back to the farms in a moment. Grayton, D. Mm. 
Mandatum. Yay. There we go. We're on our way to the Imperial Age. We can now create longbowmen in the castle, so let's go ahead and start doing that. Yay. Start producing as many citizens as possible. Do we have any more resources to, to gather? We have a little bit down in there. We can't get to it though because it's in the middle of a forest. Let's go send the monk down to get that relic. Wasn't there a relic down there? I thought there was. I would have sworn I saw a relic sitting around somewhere down there. Alright. Stay on, stay on track. Greater, yay. D, ready. All right. Yeah, good stuff. Researching long swordsmen. We can now produce quite a number of longbowmen. That's good. Yay. Firm. Shift a few people over to stone collection. Ready. Ready. Chopper. Greet him. Firm. Hold him. Mandatum. Ready. Chopper. Ready. We've got to start building more horses because we're about to run out of population. Allowance. Yay. Hold him. Hold him. Chopper. At least we're keeping everybody busy. So. So that's good. Mm. 
Mandatum, Bulden. Grayton, Mandatum, ready, firm, yay. D. Grayton, correctus. Yes. Firm. Firm. I think we have Bulden, Bulden. all of our farms being used. Now we just have to we need to make more farms. More farms as soon as we can. Let's build a a watchtower down on the in the frontier. Ready. Bulden, Bulden. Or some more houses. Ready. Bulden. Grayton. Grayton. Bulden. Mandatum. Mandatum Bulden 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 Let's go ahead and do a research town watch so that we can see a little further Ready. away. That would probably be helpful. Mandatum. Grayton, Equillen, Bulden, Yay, Yay, Equillen, Bulden, Mandatum, Yay, Yus, Bulden. We could build another castle closer to the gate that would be better that would be great too i think we got more people standing around so let's send them back to the farm ready yes as soon as we have enough stone we'll build another castle we'll put the castle Right there, I think. Bulden. Greeton. Yay. Equilum. Yours. There we go. Bulden. Bulden. Yay. Bulden. We have a lot of gold. We are being attacked. Who's attacking us? Where are we being attacked? We're being attacked over there. Of course. Let's see here. Oh my goodness, we got elephants coming through the woods. See, I didn't, I didn't expect them to come in from that direction. I'm not entirely certain what direction I expected them to come in from. The only thing is, it looks like my guys can't, can't get at them. I don't know what's, what's going on here. So I got my guys here, but they can't figure out how to get over there. All right, my man, you need to, you need to figure it out. That's not good. All right. Well, now it, now it, now it's all real. So we better, better train more people. All right, guys. Yeah, you're kind of. 
Yep, you're you're letting me down. Yep, that's not good at all. Yep, they they totally finished me off. All right. And that's why I don't play this game. I wonder if we could build a... Could we build a trebuchet? Would that help? Against all those... All those units. We'll send out the villagers. They can they can try to attack. Nope. Doesn't seem like we have any any chance at success here. All right, there's a, a trebuchet. Maybe it can unpack itself and attack those those units over there. I don't even know. Does a trebuchet? have power against units, or is it just against walls? I guess we'll find out. I don't think so. Well, maybe. Looks like we did away with one of them. A few nights. The Treblochet seems to have no effect on them at all. Maybe a catapult would be better. We do have a few citizens. And we have quite a bit of gold, but we don't really have much of anything else. All right, let's build a we'll build a logging camp down. Say over. I guess we can't because we got no wood. So we'll have to send everybody down to chop trees. If we could eliminate those massed units, that would be awesome. We have, a, we have a, some assistance coming in from an ally. Somehow he managed to have a whole bunch of knights here. Yay, yay, Equilin firm. Mandatum Estora. And of course, Greetings. 
Brayton? Yay? Correctus. Yes. Correctus. Yay. Yes. Ready. Mandatum. Yay. Mandatum. Ready. Equilon. Bulden. Bulden. Chopper. Grayton? I don't want to go to mining camp. I want a lumber Bulden. camp. There we Bulden. go. All right. Chopper. Ready. Yay. Mandatum. Uh. Bulden. Grayton? There's a solid battle going on there by our ally who's saving us, so that's great. Very kind of him. Bulden. Now, if we if we could possibly repay the favor, the best way to do that would be to to build up a military and uh, and start to Yay, firm. contribute. That would be great. Bulden, Bulden, firm. Equilon. Yes, Equilon. Equilon. Ready, yay. Yay, yes. Datum. Yay. Batal. Shh. Ready. Datum. Batal.
not express gratitude for for being saved by an ally. The least I could do. Meanwhile, we're being attacked back at home again. Where did? How did he get back down here? I didn't didn't realize he was he was returning. Ready, correct, yours correct. And a bummer. I guess I gotta send my guys back. Unbelievable. Mandatum? Ready. Yay. Bolden. Seems to be the case that nothing I can produce is any match for those. Well, stay here. We're victorious accidentally because our ally had completed a wonder and saved us in the nick of time. Meanwhile, these here uh, heavy scorpions were uh, enough to destroy me even when this guy was completely defeated. Still, 
he is able to completely ruin me with those. So, I guess my question is, what what defeats a scorpion? Don't really know. In any case, if we want to understand how to play a game well, this is a good example of how to do it. This guy knows what he's doing. He's got a nice cathedral there that he he saved us with that cathedral. That cathedral is what saved the day ultimately. It's a nice monument. It's a it's really a pleasant game to play if you know how to play it. The only problem is it's a rather humiliating game to play if you rarely play it and you don't know what you're doing. So that's that's really all there is to it. Look at that guy's economy. He just has so many so many farmers. He's just churning out economy. So what what is the trick there? I don't know. Maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll figure it out. As it is, I didn't want to spend a lot of time playing this game, so I kind of have a bit of a love-hate relationship with it. Because I think the art style is really cool and it's a pretty game, but I also don't like to sink too many time, too much time into it. And it's one of those things where if you don't spend a lot of time playing it, you tend not to actually get very good at it. But it is, it is really a, a pretty cool thing to see and harkens back to a lot of hours of fun that I have had in the past playing real-time strategy games. All right, well, that's it. Till next time. Thank you for watching.